Hey, do you need wallpaper? Go to wallpaperboulevard.com. Give them my name, tell them Spencer Colgan sent you, and they'll be sure to give you 10% off at checkout. Check it out, tell them I said hello. They have a tremendous selection. Don't shop anywhere else until you've checked out www.wallpaperboulevard.com. This is Spencer Colgan, and welcome back to my wallpaper and painting channel on YouTube. Wallpapering a ceiling. Number one tool, a rolling scaffold. Number two tool, a short ladder, in order that you may ascend the scaffold. The third tool, which is not necessary, which is not here, is another human being. Good luck with that. The fourth tool are all of the other things you need to hang wallpaper. And the fifth consideration is technique. And the technique is very important. There's nothing funnier than watching a person trying to hang wallpaper on a ceiling who's never done it before. It is the most embarrassing thing you can do in front of a customer. Let me show you how to hold the wall covering when you get yourself into position on the scaffold. I don't know what to call this method of folding wall covering, except that it resembles the candy my mother used to buy when we were kids during Christmas. You ever see that candy that sort of goes like that and, you know? So you, you flap it back and forth in sections of at least 15 inches, 15 to 20, so that as you open it up on the wall, you have sections that go immediately onto the ceiling. I meant onto the ceiling. So as you open it up, this section goes right onto the ceiling. Then you open it up again, you're extending it. As you can see, I'll be extending it the same width as this, and so on and so forth. If you try to hang this any other way, you might be successful, or you may not be, depending on the material. If you have the sheet hanging down as you move about, there's a ch if you try to do that with cork, the weight of the paste on the product will tear it. So then you might go to dry hanging cork. And um, it's still the weight of the cork may tear. The, nice, the better the cork material, the more delicate it is, believe it or not. Okay. Now, when you're looking up at a ceiling, you lose perspective of square. You, you're not able to determine if something is square simply by looking at it because it's just a different perspective while you're under a ceiling than if you were to be hanging wall covering on a wall. So we use markers. You're looking at markers that are consistently two inches from the wall. And then, so those are markers to give me perspective on square as I stand up there. Not absolutely necessary, but it helps me remember square. But these lines are my forward edge. What I mean by that is my wall covering is 27 inches. And so, I have measured 27 inches onto the ceiling from the wall. 27, 27, 27, and then I subtracted two inches. I subtracted two inches and made my mark at 25 in order that I may have a two inch play. I don't know that this wall is square perfectly with this one. Nor do I know if this wall is perfectly square with this one. And so in order not to be uh, 
off with the wall covering, I give myself a two inch play. That's generally considered appropriate. You're giving yourself two inches. In other words, from this point, all the way over to here is 25 inches. And then I'll have two inches overlap, which I'll trim off. Okay, so let's get to it. The benefit of the rolling scaffold, particularly when you're alone, is so that you can do this. You're moving alone and your body weight is moving the scaffold as you go. I have four scaffolds. Of course, I picked the worst one for this job because the wheels, you ever go to the supermarket and you get the, the shopping cart, you find it all alone, you're a guy. First of all, guys shop impulsively. So you'll go into the store for two things and you'll literally spend 200 bucks because you say, yeah, let me get this, let me get that. And what you need after about five minutes is a shopping cart. And then you commandeer a shopping cart that belongs probably to somebody else. You think, but it has nothing in it. But then you say, how could I be so lucky? Let me take it, there's nothing in it. You think you're taking somebody else's shopping cart that has been haplessly abandoned in the vegetable, canned vegetable section, and you start, you start to take off the scene of the crime and you realize one of the wheels doesn't work. And you practically have to lift the shopping cart in order to use it as a rolling, uh, carrying, gadget. That's my scaffold today. Anyway, let's get to it. Now I'm going over to the ceiling like this. Now, in previous videos, I have given you another tool which is to take a roll that is found in wallpaper rolls. It's a roll, you know the center of the toilet paper, that brown thing? Well, wallpaper has the same thing on many wall coverings. Take one of them from one of your jobs and keep it in your truck. Um, if I need it, I'll go down and get it. But if you're a good planner, You'll take it to the job with you, and my arm in your job will be replaced by that firm cardboard roll.
Not in these classes. Let's go through the section of the video. Because if you've never found paper on sale, you may be disillusioned to believe that it's an easy task. I've been hanging wallpaper for many years, and I can tell you that if you do the same alone, it will take a minimum of twice the amount of time that it would take you to hang the same wallpaper on the wall. So I think I'll take this part in. Just so you know. Okay, so this is the wallpaper that I have on the wall. Look at that beautiful seam. Look at that. All I have to do is one more sponging it into position. I use the sponge. Your fingers will slip. You know? Look at that beautiful scene. Where is it? Oh, I just love it. Wipe it down. Take your time on this, folks. Now, you see the, the angle changes here? You have to, you can't have this attached while you're putting the angle in place. It has to be floating. So you push it into the angle and then pass the angle incrementally. This way, you're sure that it will not come up. This was particularly difficult because being alone, I mean, you can see, you can see why this would be difficult. This interruption of this wall caused a greater force on the wall covering to come down. So I had to use the wall to keep the wallpaper up. You know, I had no choice. So I'm gonna trim this now and then put this piece into place. So here's what I did. I trimmed the wall covering down a couple of inches away from this corner to make sure that I have wall covering to go in this track there. I trimmed it down, not against the wall. Came up and I trimmed it at the, at the edge where ceiling meets wall so that I had a perfect piece to put into place. Folks, this isn't easy, but when you get something like this done, the gratifying experience that you will receive for having done something so difficult by yourself is very, very nice. I mean, look at this. I'm very proud of this, very proud of my work. You know, I'm very proud of my work. You gotta be. I'm gonna tell you something. You can't do this work unless you love it. It's just so tedious. A lot of people say, oh, where do you get the patience? And I think about it and I say, you're right. You know, it really does take a lot of patience to be dealing with wall covering, overhead, getting glue in your hair. I mean, you know, it's enough to make you jump off of a short roof. <laughs> I got a story about that in my life. I won't get into it. <sighs> I was at a public assembly recently 
Now, I know many of you think I'm, I'm kind of like a wise guy and everything. And honestly, I, I feel like a wise guy sometimes. And, and I don't say, well, I'm from New York, you know, that's the way we are. That's not the way New Yorkers are. Let me trim this, hold on. Wow, I found uh, a little shelf on the, four feet away on the, the other trim, the trim counterpart to this, which is what you're on right now. I was at a public assembly recently, and this guy, the person speaking, said what appeared to be a joke, but it wasn't a joke. He just said something that was sort of like comic relief without intending it to be so. And this dork in this solemn audience, let's just put it that way, saw that people laughed at something that the speaker said. And after everyone stopped laughing, and it was a quickie, it was like this, <laughs> he decided to get in on the act and laugh too. But it was clearly after the fact. And it clearly indicated that he didn't know what the people were laughing about because he, why, why would you laugh seconds later? Are you slow? So what does he do? After everyone stops laughing, he goes, Ha ha! Ha ha! Did you ever hear someone scrape their fingernails against a chalkboard? I had to look back at him like this. I know it's wrong, I know, I know it's wrong. You know, there's a lot, that, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you here. There are people that are so much nicer than I am. They are. They think the best of everyone and that's the way we're supposed to be. But when you're at a solemn event and you're just to show the speaker that you liked his humor, and you go, ha <laughs> ha, at the expense of everyone else around you, I can't take it. I can't take it, I gotta be honest. I can't take that kind of egoism. What do you think? You think I'm bad? You're very judgmental, Spencer. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I don't like it. <laughs> I wanted to say, why did you do that? You know you're not laughing at the thing. You don't even know what you're laughing at, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just be real. That's all I'm asking you to be. Be real. <laughs> and it was like this. <laughs> it was loud. Because the speaker was about 75 feet away. So, of course, he wanted the speaker to hear that he was also... You know, he's part of it. I, I, I don't like phoniness, I'm sorry. I don't like it. Just be real. Oh, hi, how are you? I'm not into that. Can I tell you what I hate? I absolutely hate. I hate talking to people when I want to move on. You know, I want to get out of somewhere. I happen to go to church, all right? And, um, I'm a friendly person, but what happens to me is after we meet and we're, we get to know each other, I don't want to keep getting to know you. <laughs> I'm good. And it seems that people just want to, hey, Spencer. Some dude a few years ago stops me out in front of the church, right? Hey, how you doing? He shows up to Easter Mass with a, with a golf outfit on. How you doing? So me, like an idiot, 
I give him my ear, realizing I'm the only one who did it. So I think I'm special for a few minutes. Then I realize I'm an idiot. No one else will talk to this guy. First time we have a song. So I'm a light-skinned guy. I say, hey, dude, I got to get out of the sun. Eastern Florida is like August in New York. I, I got to get out of the sun. Bah, 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 bah. I know this one and that one. And Anyway, he says that he knows the man who exits the church. And the man whom he said he knew walked right by him. That's when I said, I got to get out of here, dude. I'm get and I wound up with a sunburn on my forehead and my ears and everything else. Anyway, I know it has nothing to do with hanging wallpaper, but that's what happened to me. That's because I'm too nice. Oh, yeah, I know everybody. You ever meet anybody like that? They know everybody, they drop names. There's a famous situation in police work. You'll be out on the street, right? You'll pull somebody over and they'll say, oh, I know Sergeant so-and-so, or I know the Lieutenant, or I know the Captain. Happens quite often. And what they won't tell you is that they know the sergeant or the captain or the lieutenant from their last criminal encounter. They don't mention that. Oh, yeah, I know the lieutenant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, we, you know, we met with... And they'll do everything except to say he's my cousin. So sometimes that captain or lieutenant is working. Hey, Billy, you know this guy? Yeah. I locked him up three months ago. What's, what's he saying? He's saying he knows you. <laughs> Do you know any pathological liars? I do. They're very interesting people. First of all, I'm not one who believes in that term, pathological liar. I don't know what that means, but I hear it's a real term. So anyway, the people who just lie and they swear, they believe their lies. Do you know anybody like that? Those people I feel sorry for because reality itself is not good enough for them. They have to create realities that aren't true. Oh, I'm just sharing it with you. You know, I'm in a tight spot here. Let me bring you over to what I'm doing. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> So, if you ever get to know me, you'll know that I'm for real. For real. This is a pain, buddy. Who's ever watching right now? This is a genuine pain in the body. Literally everywhere. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know Spencer. <laughs>
Okay, so let me tell you something. I'm doing an amazing job here. It's really amazing. I mean, I gotta be honest. It is an amazing job. That's why I love it. By the way, for 2023, we're gonna have Spencer Colgan wallpaper trivia. Where did Spencer grow up? Ding. What, what wallpaper did Spencer first hang? Ding. What's Spencer's dog's name? Ding. So, oh, and by the way, if you should compete in my trivia, you get a free bucket of wallpaper paste. Yep, isn't that generous? Compliments of Spencer Colgan is wallpaper. Oh gosh. <clears throat> Let me show you what I just did. That looks superb. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, one sec. That's what I was doing. You were right over here. And that's what I was doing. <laughs> and now, the final sheet. And so I take <laughs> okay, folks, let's get this done here. Much easier, right? When you're dealing with a, a, a width that's not as wide as the full 
with For those of you who care to know, Colin Sun is a high quality wall cover. They don't pay me, I don't know them, and I don't want to know them. And when they start making inferior products, I'll let you know. Colin Sun is a very good product. It doesn't tear, it's very, very well made. Ugh, I hate that. watch 10 minutes of this video, and I do mean only 10 minutes, you will know how to hang a ceiling. You don't have to watch the whole thing. I mean, it, it, I, I just love what I do. I, I post it, and if you want to watch the details of it, you'll learn wallpapering techniques, you know? Like that. You don't want to pull a whole sheet just to put on the you, you splice that in. Same thing over there. I'm almost done. Let's get this finished.